Greatest Common Factor of Monomials. I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find the greatest common factor of the monomials. We have two examples here to explore. The first one is 12x square y cube is one of the monomials. The second one is 18x square y square. We have a very similar question here which is 15x square y cube z and 9x cube y z square. So let's start with the first one and find the common factors. Strategy to find common factors for monomials is similar to what we do in numbers. So let's begin with 12x square y cube. We can write all factors of this monomial. So monomial has a constant term and the variable terms with exponents. Now the constant term is called the coefficient as you know and uh, the variable terms are in this case x square and y cube. When we say x square that means x times x, y cube means y times y times y. So we have three factors of y, 2 of x, 12. We can write 12 with prime factorization we get, let's find prime factors of 12. 12 could be written as uh, 4 times 3 and 4 could be written as 2 times 2, right? So we get prime factors of 12 as 2 times 2 times 3, correct? So let me write down all the factors of 12x square y cube. Let me write them here now. So we get 2 times 2 times 3. These are the prime factors of number 12, the coefficient of the first monomial. And then x square means x times x. y cube means y times y times y. So that is how we can get all the basic factors of the given monomial. Let's perform the similar operation on the second monomial, which is 18 x square y square. Now for 18, let's do the prime factorization. 18, you could write this as 9 times 2 is 18 and 9 is 3 times 3, right? So that gives us all the prime factors for 18, which are 2 times 3 times 3. x square means x times x. y square means y times y. So the first step is to write down all the prime factors. Now let's list out the common factors. Now out of these two the common factors are twos right then we have threes they are common uh, two of these x's are common right even two of these y's are common so these are all the common factors. Now from the common factors we will find the greatest common factor greatest common factor is multiple of all these. So here we get 2 times, from here we get 3, from here we get x times x times y times y, right? So that gives us the greatest common factor. So when you multiply all of them, 2 times 3 is the number 6, x times x is x square, y times y is y square. So we say that the greatest common factor for these two monomials is 6x squared y squared. I hope the steps are absolutely clear to you. I like you to follow the same method here, right? And figure out the greatest common factor, correct? Let me give you the answer as such so that you can always match the answer. So greatest common factor for this one, as far as the numbers are concerned, we know 3 and 5, here 3 and 3. So 3 is a common factor, so we get 3. Amongst the x's, x square and x cube that means x square is common y cube and y that means y is common z and z square means z is common right so that is the greatest common factor for part b but i'll appreciate if you could factor as i did and then check with my answer right i hope that helps thank you and all the best